Hey there, this is Dr. Unbody, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the online section of CSC 231. Well, the first thing is, why are we here? Well, next to this video is a link to uh, a little video about exoskeleton, which is a computerized or computer-driven exoskeleton that allows a wheelchair-bound woman to start to walk. That's really why we're here. You know, we want to make computing. We want to make computers do some interesting things. Uh, now, what is this course in particular about? Well, this course is about problem solving using a computer. And our, uh, you know, what, what our goal is is that when you're done with this course, if you're given a chance. To, or you're presented with a problem, we'll hope that what you'll do is say, hey, I can use a computer to do that. So a few years back, uh, uh, Bill Punch and I wrote a book for the intro course in Python, in fact, because there weren't any good books on it at the time. Uh, and when we put together this online course, our, our idea is to use the book with some supplemental videos. That is, you read the book, and the videos don't stand by themselves. Uh, the assumption is in those videos that you've already read the book, and then we show you about how you can use some Python in the videos. So they're, they're uh, very much supplemental, and that's a different model than many online uh, courses. There's really not much information typed online. Hey, we wrote the book. Uh, so what are the parts uh, to this course? Well, there are, uh, every week you will have, uh, you know, you'll read the chapter, you'll watch some videos, you'll do some online exercises called My Programming Lab. You will also do a, a lab exercise, notice that those are two separate things, and then there'll be a programming project. Uh, there is a due dates page, I'll sh point that to you in a moment. That is your guideline to when everything is due. Right? That's, that's a critical uh, and very useful thing for you. Uh, and then uh, there are exams. In the summer we have a midterm and a final. In the fall and spring semesters we actually have two midterms and a final. Uh, when we do those exams, uh, if you happen to be on campus, I get a room and I will uh, proctor them uh, at no charge. If you want to do them remotely, the service that I use charges $15 per exam and you have to have a webcam. Those are the only uh, requirements. Uh, the grading has uh, some components, the programming projects, uh, and then the exams, and then the online exercises, otherwise known as my programming notice that these labs don't appear in the points. And that's because we expect you to do them all uh, and so that they can have a negative effect on you. If you miss two, we reduce your final grade by 0 0.5. That is a severe penalty, so don't do it. Uh, in terms of support, uh, you, we, uh, everybody gets assigned a TA. Uh, and there, of course, is me, the instructor, and we have an online site, Piazza, where you can post questions, and uh, the TAs and myself monitor that, and we get pretty good response on there. And you're also uh, welcome to answer other, uh, other students' questions, too. Uh, an important thing is collaboration, right? and, and this, this, is, this is important. Uh, the my programming lab exercises and the lab exercises, those could be done collaborative. In fact, we encourage you to do them collaboratively. Right. However, the programming projects, no. Okay, collaboration is not allowed in that. Think of them like quizzes. That's really the way you want to think about it. Uh, and you know this is this is a way for you to demonstrate that you've figured out how to uh, solve a problem. Uh, you can ask questions on Piazza. 
don't post code there. Um, you know, at least don't post code so that other other students can see it. And in fact, don't post code any place. Right. That's related to the projects. Don't post code. Uh, you know, some students want to put put a question on something like Stack Overflow, and you can post a question on Stack Overflow, but just don't put your code there because if you put your code there some other student will uh, copy it and now there, there will be copies of your code in multiple students projects and you will get a big zero on the project because you shared your code with everybody uh, and, and, and similarly uh, you know, if you ask a question on, online and somebody posts some code that you copy into your code guess what somebody else is going to copy that same code in and again you get a zero. All right, uh, let's take a look at the course webpage. Okay, www.cse.msu.edu tilde CSE 231. Let's take a look at the page. Uh, and there are a number of things on here to note. One is that there is a link to the online section. Uh, there are links to computer projects, the laboratory exercises, the hand in system that lets us hand in things electronically. There's a link to the discussion forum, how, rules on codes that we have, uh, the information, you know, so the textbook, the publisher's website, that has things like every code. Uh, you, know, you know, you don't have to type it out of the textbook, you can just copy it off of the uh, website old exams that's nice at exam time and here is a link to uh, python.org to uh, get a copy of Python for your own computer and basically uh, you know the latest release is is 3.4 but what we really care about is get version 3 not version 2 okay. alright so let's, let's uh, go into the online section and in here, not surprisingly, one of the things that we find is the syllabus. I'll take a look at that in a moment. The due dates. There's the. This is the most important page for you, uh, or maybe at least it's equally important to the syllabus. Uh, we assign TAs to you. You can figure out who your TA is there. And then there's all the sections. And these uh, during the regular section, during the regular semesters. There's about one of these a week, uh, and then during the summer session, because it's uh, doubly paced, uh, you get about two of these a week. Um, and uh, let's take a look at one of those. Click on beginnings, and what you see is there will be. Uh, it says read the chapter. The first thing to do, you read the chapter. Then there's some videos, and then there is some exercises from my programming lab. And on this first one, there's even a video to tell you a little bit about you know, sort of some of the best ways to use my programming lab. Uh, again, these exercises, they are collaborative. Uh, you know, find a buddy and sit down and work on them together. They'll go twice as fast and you'll probably learn twice as much. The, uh, uh, and, and there is a syllabus. It's a standard looking syllabus. Got all the good stuff on there. Uh, take some time and read it and pay attention to things like uh, the rules on collaboration. So, where do you start? Well, what you should do is, uh, you know, get the book, obviously. But uh, one thing you want to do is to download Python. So you get that onto your uh, computer. Uh, start out with beginnings. Get that going. And then check out the due dates page and see what's in there. Uh, this happens to be uh, for the uh, summer session there. But what you see is you read a chapter, look at some videos, do a lab, do some my programming lab exercises, and then starts all over again. Uh, there are programming projects due uh, every week, and uh, that is, oh, and of course, uh, you know, things like exams and stuff like that. 
Uh, but l this page is your guide to what you need to do. So, off we go. Let's 